And we're back. How's everybody doing? Um, so as we said, as we stated earlier, um, our episode is, today is about we, we're going to be discussing a lot of mental health. We are and have been discussing mental health issues, and I brought into mental health professionals, right. specialist professionals, people who know way more about this shit than I do. Experts. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, ex- experts. Yeah, experts. Right. That's that's the that's the word. So um, we're going to bring them on. It's my homie Oshem and my sis. Bless. Hey. Bless Roxwell. Hey. Welcome. All right. right. Thank you. Where's where's Bless? Are we? Are we? we, All right. There she go. There she. That. That. There you go. Hey. There she is. Hey. Which one is witching? Which one is witching? Who is who? Well, (laughs) I am blessed. Okay. Okay. Bless. Uh, I'm Oshem. Okay. Okay. It's an honor and a pleasure. Guys, nice to meet you guys. Nice Mm -hmm. to meet you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a pleasure having y'all here. Um. I just I, let's just jump right into it. Like I mean, from where I sit, like we've always felt like like getting help, like mental health or like seeing a therapist or something like that, has always been frowned upon in our community. You know what I mean? Like it's like if 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 you need mental help, if you going to if somebody is seeing a therapist, you know we look at you like I mean like we were looked at like we were crazy, like it was something wrong with us well, and we, all of that and. Um, can can we speak to can can y'all speak to like how necessary and how ass backwards that mindset is? You know what I mean? Oh, where do I start? Um, okay, so bless. I I let I let you take this one. Take yeah, this one. this is my bag yeah. right here because <laughs> one of my missions in life is to demystify and destigmatize mental health and therapy and mental health support because here's the reality of the situation. The reality is that we're all walking around living under this racial trauma. That's the first thing, right? And then we have this generational trauma, right, as a result of that. And then we don't even know what any of that looks like. So we're walking around depressed, traumatized, all of these things. And because it's not normalized in our communities, we don't recognize it. So we just medicate, we smoke, we drink, we smash, we do all of those things that help us take our minds off of the pain that we're in, right? When in fact, there are resources out there for the pain that we're in, okay? And the reason we don't access them, I mean, the reasons are endless. The church sometimes, a lot of times, frowns upon anything but prayer, right? So that's one hurdle. And then it's historically, and this is another mission that I have, I am decolonizing psychology because it is historically white. Mm. It's historically white Mm -hmm. and male, right? We're talking Freud. We're talking Western white men that said, this is how your brain works and this is how it should work, okay? So that's not that doesn't resonate with everyone okay Mm -hmm. and so there were times where i mean the dsm-5 has been updated that's the book the sort of clinical book that therapists use to help with diagnoses and that's been updated because they used to have drapetomania right drapetomania used to be a mental health diagnosis you know what drapetomania is that is drapetomania is the idea that an enslaved person must be out of their mind if they want to not be enslaved. Wow. That's drapetomania. And that was in the DSM, not the DSM. In writing. Precursors right. to DSM. Yeah, yeah that's precursors. in writing. Right. It was a real diagnosis that they would apply to the enslaved people if they wanted to be free. So, like, psychology is not perfect in any way, shape, or form, okay? Mm-hmm. But it's helpful and it's mm-hmm. supportive because it can teach you about yourself and it can mm-hmm. show you where where your strengths are, right? So if the whole world is telling you, you know, hey, black man, you ain't shit, guess what? Your therapist will tell you, no, they lying. You are, <laughs> you're awesome. You know what I mean? So there's that, there's being heard, okay? Because a lot of times we have things we wanna talk about, right? But your friends are not being paid to listen to you. Okay, a therapist is paid to listen to you, and that's it. Your hour 
You get to talk about whatever you want. And it is such a game changer for people, particularly black people, who we are never heard, right? We can scream at the top of our lungs, please don't kill us in these streets, Miss Police Officer, and they don't hear us, right? Yeah, right? So having that, just having that space to be heard is so healing and so powerful, all right? So I don't, I want people, that's why I decided to become a therapist because this is something that our people can take advantage of. There are whole cultures, other ethnicities that are taking advantage of this. All right. Let me, and ask, we, let me ask you a question. Yeah, right. please ask. Can what do you say to a person like me that says like depression? Mm -hmm. uh, that's not really a real thing. You know what I'm saying? I say, hey, people who don't get their way, they depressed. Person gets fired from the job, they're depressed. Everybody's depressed. You know what I mean? Back in the days, how did people deal with depression? Everybody was depressed. They didn't have no doctors to talk to them. They didn't have nobody to say nothing. People dealt with depression. So what do you say to a person that says that to you, like me? Like, I, that's what I believe. Okay. Your strength is from, the, he's still from the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't want to just bust him out like that, but he's my friend. I love him anyway. Go ahead. I'm the Rockness Monster. And I'm here to let you know that I'm on Cameo now. Are you familiar with Cameo? It's a website where you can reach out to some of your favorite celebrities and have them send you shout outs, personalized, birthday wishes, wedding congratulations. You can even have them quit your job for you. And now I'm there. You can use the Cameo app or you can go on Cameo.com or the Cameo website. Find me there and make your request. We also have special requests for business. You know, if you want your mixtape dropped on or your album promote any promotional things, special pricing for that. See us there, Rockness Monster on Cameo. Rock on, rock well, That's on. a valid question because that's a question that people ask, right? right? And it's a valid barrier to seeking therapy and support because people are like, well, I don't even think this is real, right? What I can tell you is that depression is a chemical balance in your brain. And if you were to go to the doctor and have your brain measure your chemical balances measured in your brain, you would find out that there was something wrong. So there is a physical, real thing component to depression. That being said, that being said, there's new research that is also saying depression is normal. We come from a society where we expect to be happy all the damn time, and that's not realistic, okay? Mm -hmm. Because shit happens. And you get sad and you get depressed and, and that's what I'm okay. saying. Okay. Right. That's the thing, right? And that's the that's part of the you don't even know that you just touched on the decolonization part. That's part of decolonizing it and saying, look, you know, in ancient cultures, not in ancient cultures, in other cultures around the world, right? They don't treat depression the way we do. We actually have extremely disproportionate rates in this country and in mm -hmm. the Western world compared to the rest of the world for depression, right? So it's a whole new way of kind of looking at it and saying this might actually just be a natural human process that we jumped into because you know western white male world knows everything and we know that that's not how you're supposed to be but in fact nature makes us the way we are for a reason you know what i mean so i'm so, right right so depression is not it's not the end of the world there is yeah. obviously there's a chemical imbalance so there's medication for depression, mm -hmm. but you don't necessarily even have to be on medication for depression to beat your depression. So welcome to the sixties, bro. You're not too far. Off. You're not too far. Welcome to the sixties. Thank, thank you. Let me put my let me put my coat down and take off my shoes for a second while I say this. <laughs> right. Um. Yeah. We and and you know, you and I, like me and Strang, have been friends since we was teenagers, right? And. You know, we done ran around. We done, you know, we ran the streets. We smoked weed. We drank alcohol together. We did this, that, and the third. We've been blah, up. We've been down. We've been up. I'm, I'm just talking about, I'm talking about like our physicality though. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Not our finances and none of that. Like yeah. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the, 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 the things we put in our body. You understand what I'm saying? We, yeah. neither one of us eat pork. You know what I'm saying? Neither one of us, you know, we, 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 neither one of us are too big on red meat. You know what I mean? Whatever. But somehow or another right you and i or or we could be brothers we could be twin brothers son and one brother catch cancer and the other one don't you understand uh, what i'm saying it's like i'm saying that 
the bodies, like as individuals, our we whether it's our body, mind, or spirit, we don't all handle shit the same way. We all different. So whereas you may be you may be you may have dealt you may you may deal with living losing a loved one a certain way you mm-hmm. you I, and i will say this in front of the world you one of the strongest niggas i know like you will swallow your blood before you swallow your pride any day of the week right so i'm saying I don't know like, if that's a compliment but thank you i'm just it's, I'm, it, it's, it's it is and then it ain't you know what i'm saying it's I don't just know what to say. it is but then it ain't you know what i'm saying it is but, it is, but then it ain't you know what i mean yeah. but what yeah. i'm saying it's just real right you know what i mean but what i'm saying is you handle pressure and pain or whatever that comes at you different than maybe i will or a rockwood or a louisville would and we all brothers right. you understand what i'm saying so like he made me he may need more help in that area than you do you may need more help in this area than i do you know what i mean we said hey we came up doing how come you can't do this as good as i can how come i'm a better rapper than him or whatever the fuck like we all different bro so mm-hmm. when it comes down to shit yes depression is normal it's something that we all because we don't live in a fucking fairy tale some right. people are going to need more help than others is what i believe yeah. No, and you're absolutely correct. That's a valid point. Any, yeah. any diagnosis, and if you go with a therapist, this is important to know. Any diagnosis is on a spectrum. Mm-hmm. And what I mean when I say that is that we all have anxiety. We all get depressed, right? Mm-hmm. right. We all have traumatic experiences. The, the, the demarcation point for when it's a diagnosable condition is how much it's impairing your life Mm. so if you're depressed right but you are still getting up going to work every day taking care of your kids doing what you need to do and you know you go out with your men's and them on the weekends you kind of have fun you know overall you might be depressed but it's not impairing your life but if you're depressed and you cannot get get out of bed and you're in bed all day and you only get out of bed to like smoke the L and then you get back in the bed or you might don't even get out the bed but literally all you doing is like smoking the L and eating and getting back in that's impairing your life you know what I'm saying because that's not that's not living that's existing you know what I'm saying so if it's a thing where you have anxiety everybody has anxiety I have anxiety right now are you kidding me mm-hmm. I'm, I'm on this show, right but yeah. is it impairing my life is it stopping me from doing the things that I want to do in my life or seeing the things that I want to see. You know, if my trauma is keeping me in the hood, right? Because it's making me too afraid to go out into the rest of the world that exists for you out there, then it's impairing your life. You know what I mean? So all of these things are on a spectrum. They're all absolutely, I mean, not all of them, like schizophrenia isn't normal, but at the same time, schizophrenia, we all sometimes hear that little voice in our head. No, oh, I'm I'm Tell glad you brought that up. I'm you know glad you brought that up. So it's not like it, it, we're all there is no quote unquote normal kind of thing. It really is on a spectrum, and we want to see people that are within a range of what's considered normal. And if it's impairing their life, then that's when we want you to get the help that, that you deserve. And that's the one thing that I want to make sure that everybody knows if y'all don't take nothing else away from my conversation and my part of this is that you deserve. You deserve support. You deserve to be supported. You deserve to be heard. You seriously do. And this society has taught us, particularly our generation, black and brown people in general, that somehow we don't deserve that. That we, and, and it's twisted because it's like, well, we don't want it. You know what I mean? And if we taste it we might want it you know what i'm saying but we deserve that we deserve healing we deserve support we deserve all of those things all of them i don't care what your background is or where you're coming from you know bless bless i want to i want to bring up one point that you made about the 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 racism part of this um is that you know when you you made it to the end of this video do me a solid and put three fire emojis comment three fire emojis in the comments you know what I'm saying? Do that. It counts. It works. It helps. You heard? Rock on, rock on.